And I think these comments from Chuck Schumer are important because I want every Republican out there to realize that when the Democrats are winning, they are rubbing it in our face. And some Democrat senators, some Republican senators are now coming up and they are stunned. That how dare he do this? You think we're still living in the same country, don't you? Senators from South Dakota. Senator Portman. You think we're still living in the 1980s where the Democrats actually want what's best for America? And the Democrats want to destroy the country. We know this. This is not new stuff. It's not profound thinking. They want to see America completely obliterated, the Constitution shredded and remade in their own San Francisco, Brooklyn, Malibu, Manhattan image, where there is no cultural identity, where you live in sexual anarchy, where private property is a thing of the past, and the ruling class controls everything. We know this. And Schumer is willing to get there. Schumer is willing to get it done. Republicans are not. Republicans are trying to protect a country that no longer exists. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and I will admit it. I was actually confused when I saw this clip of this guy talking. This guy looks like he just rolled out of bed and got in front of a camera to spew his right-wing propaganda. And I also really don't understand what he's talking about when he says sexual anarchy. The definition of anarchy is a society being basically freely constituted without authorities or a governing body. And it may also refer to a society or group of people that entirely rejects a set hierarchy. So what the hell is sexual anarchy? And what does it have to do with anything in the Democratic Party? You know, I despise this crap, folks. I honestly got a headache trying to understand this jackaloon. This is what I am sure of. This guy is trying to inflame his poorly educated puppets. And he wants them to believe that the Democrats don't love this country and the Democratic Party wants to take away people's rights. And that is ironic considering that in Texas right now, Republicans are literally trying to control women's bodies, AKA taking women's rights away. As Democrats, this is what we want. We want a fair and fighting chance for all Americans, regardless of race, creed, sex, origin, or who you love, or how you might express that love. We believe that it's time that we give everyone in this country the chance to live the American dream. And we believe that an investment in our children is one that will absolutely pay off in the long run. Does that sound like anything that this moron just said? This guy does not have facts on his side. And apparently he also doesn't own a comb. And I would bet that since it looks like he just rolled out of bed, he probably didn't even brush his teeth, basically leaving his breath like he just got slapped in the face with a sack of asshole. And to top it off, he's also delusional and has figured out a way to sell delusion to his base that has lots of issues like anger and ignorance that he and many others try to capitalize on. Charlie Kirk is wrong. And like so many other GQP supporters, he doesn't have facts and instead chooses to try and push fear to trick people into following the path that he wants them on. And it's people like this that could care less about our country. All they care about is trying to monetize off of those that they know don't know better.